If you're new around here, we're Neil and Emma, and a couple of years ago we decided to build our own camper van. Yep, we built it ourselves and then we absolutely broke it. Blew the engine up and had to repair the engine all by ourselves. So we got that done and then decided we're going to pack up the house, move our belongings into storage and then move into the van full time, travel to Ireland with our four dogs and see as much of Ireland as we possibly could. We did that, we then broke the van again. Yep, that's us, we break everything. We repaired the van, carried on our travels, and in this video, just by chance, we found an amazing campsite. We noticed when we came into the van that the step was sticky. Didn't know what it was. Emma's found it. Well, I've knocked over and gone on its side. Oh. Kind of leaked everywhere at the bottom there. Time to rip the van apart. I'm having food first. We haven't ate yet. And while Emma's doing that, I've got to relink the router to the Starlink switch because when we're driving along our phones want to go onto Starlink but it's not actually working so I'll show you in a minute. Right we've had food um, the cupboard is uh, all taken out that's all leaking onto the counter so this needs to come out so we can get in there Thanks Chops all a bloody mess, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look, it bled. It's the bottom of this the cupboard. It needs to go outside and get cleaned outside. You genuinely don't realise how much crap goes behind cupboards. Look at all that. All that has literally come out from behind here. How all that gets there, I don't know. Do you put it there? No, well, a lot of it was sawdust and screws, to be fair. Well, you know, vans don't build themselves, do they? <laughs> Right, I've got that thing clean there. Emma's been in the cupboard, haven't you? I have. And uh, what have you just said? Sif for the win. Sif for the win, look at the state. <laughs> Do you know what, it looks like we live in here. <sighs> we actually do, don't we? That's the weird thing about being a weekend warrior or going away for a couple of weeks here and there and living in it like full time. Different. So different, like so much, so many things happen and go wrong, and yeah, it's um, we've had a couple of weeks where it's been a comedy of errors. Something's gone wrong every single day for us, so which doesn't normally happen when we're only away for a couple of weeks. So yeah, it's uh, a learning curve. And the mad thing as well, we don't put it on camera, do we? No. <laughs> it's like why we're in Ireland showing you beautiful places. Why do you want to see the crap that goes on in daily life? You, you just don't. Like, just gotta get on with it. Not everything is a drama. You know what I mean? Not like not everything is a drama. Like a, a jar breaking in a cupboard. You know, some people have put, oh, bum pipes over. This is jar broke. Just as a side note as well. Now I know we did build this van, and um, everything in here was put in here by us. But does that mean we can remember how to put things back? I don't know, but I've lost a screw already. <laughs> Have you got it? And then, it's when you close it. You can see there's a gap there on the top. But I think, once we get the, the bottom one, it'll lift the whole thing up. But again, I'm missing the screw. And it's also hard to kneel down as well, because I keep kneeling on my kneecap. Camper vibe did that. Who did that? Camper vibe. Who did that? Camper vibe. It wasn't camper vibe at all. You did it. Showboating. If Louise hadn't fallen off a bike, I wouldn't have to show her how to fall off a bike properly. Ah, oh. oh, steward. Right, well it's shot. It'll shut but it won't lock. Oh yeah, well. Well done babe. You would not believe all that was from behind there, would you? And we cleaned we cleaned up this morning, didn't we? We did genuinely <laughs> did. Welcome to Urban Mingus. We are the dirtiest people you'll ever see on the internet. To be fair, if our van is this bad, imagine what other people's are like. <laughs> Genuinely, can you, you imagine? Because we're clean, you imagine what some people's vans are like? Literally, 
We don't have our washing in the van for less than like three days, three, four days because I know we wear the same things all the time, but we have to go and wash them so we can wear them again because we're comfy. And then we clean down everything as so often and to have all that come out from the back of the units is disgusting. So I'm now going to pull even out the bottom of this. Like this, like look at that, that gets cleaned daily. Yeah. Look at it, it's hanging. I have just made crusty bread though, so. Yeah, well you've left uh, half a loaf on there. <laughs> I'll clean it. When clean I the floor, I mean, come on, I drive, you're meant to clean, what's this? This isn't acceptable. Who are you talking to? Me. That, that's how we knew there was something going on. Because there's all like, stuff dripping. Um, to be honest, the last thing you want is to find like brown stuff dripping from your entrance. Is it? <laughs> like, Could you have worded that any worse? Right now I'll show you what I've been doing while Emma's been making a mess. Emma hasn't been making a mess. Emma's been cleaning up a mess and half of it's sawdust and screws. So that's on you. I hope you've hoovered that boot out. I've hoovered it out on with the hoover that we don't have. Got a blower. So when we done the router, I put it up there, but the problem was I'd wired the router into the actual fuse box. Now, there's the switch that turns the Starlink on. And there is the Starlink thing there. So what I've done is I've moved our router up to there. So that router now turns off when you press the switch. When Starlink's not on, that router doesn't need to be on at all. It's A, using electric, not much. B, it's being on when it doesn't need to be, it can have a rest. And yeah, our laptops keep going to it automatically, so it doesn't need to be on. It's now off, it comes on when we press the button, like it should do, done properly. And I've been able to tidy the boot up as well, so we have got the chairs and tables out right now, but yeah, that is a lot tidier than what it was. Now doing more things, I had this light in the boot, and wasn't doing nothing, so I thought, hmm, it's quite strong now. Sometimes you need a, a bit more light in the boot to see what you're doing over night time rather than like two little lights. So I'm going to wire that up in the boot, but I'm going to wire it up so if you need to, you can point it out here as well. So they're all down. So I'm just going to wire it into there, drill it all through there, and then I think I'll mount the light, I don't know up here somewhere so it can it can be swiveled like so I can either have it in the boot or if I want I can have it pointing out here well that didn't make an absolute mess did it anyway I can get a cable through there now right all back together I've put that up there now so I'll be able to twist that and if I want I can bring it out here if I want to work on the electric I can point it over there if we just need to put it to the boot it can go there and it's literally on that switch there so we'll turn that switch on Because before we only had these, which didn't do absolutely nothing, but that, it's a lot better. And I can turn it and point it wherever I want. So, makes sense to me anyway. Emma won't agree, but that'll do me. Yep, Neil was right. Wasn't interested in his lights whatsoever. So what I did is I grabbed a couple of the puppers and I went exploring. Now we were staying on Willowbrook Glamping Site, which is located in County Ross Common. And oh my goodness, this place is amazing. It's got something for everyone, whether you've got a family, whether you've got kids, whether it's just adults, it's just such a beautiful and tranquil place. The actual campsite itself is a little bit quirky, but lovely and peaceful. So I suggest if you're in the area, go and check it out because wow, this place blew me away. Now, the good thing about the pizza oven is that you do it yourself so you go to the front desk or you go and see the girl and you buy the stuff and you come and you make your own pizza they basically just warm it up get it ready and um everything you need is in the hut right here there she is so yeah and i know that one is for that one is for pushing the coals back that one's for cleaning the floor and there for your pizzas Another good thing about this campsite is that they do have these amazing little huts, and I don't know what they're called, they're just kind of like huts that you can sleep in overnight and they take families and they just look absolutely amazing. So the girl is literally in the middle of cleaning this one now, 
they were into with somebody in here last night but it's mega funky two of them have got hot tubs and one of them has got a great big swing i think i prefer the ones with the hot tub wouldn't you personally maybe yeah because yeah. you can have a dip but some people don't like a hot tub no 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 we do the lady here also paints really pretty rocks mm. as well. There's some down here, big ones, but she's also got little ones in reception and they're really, really pretty. The campsite is just amazing. The people who own it are, you could not meet nicer people. They're lovely. Um, so helpful. I put an Instagram post out yesterday, I think it was, or to you, it'll probably be like eight months ago. <laughs> um, and I said it was like Glastonbury meets a good night's sleep. Everybody's worst nightmare. You drop the end of your toilet cassette down the toilet but we're lucky this time there was this piece of wood over here and then there was this big thing in there and then in there not the type of place i want to be uh, getting on the floor oh. well done babe yeah, but you know what the worst thing is? What? Look on the fucking corner. <laughs> and to be fair, there's quite a few down there. Is there? Yeah, yeah there's a couple down there, but um. Right, we can't find anywhere we've been to get um, green toilet stuff, so we've been using these. Don't know whether it's right, don't know whether it's wrong. Um, if you do know an alternative, let us know in the comment section. Just leave us a comment because you wouldn't think you wouldn't be able to find toilet flush in Ireland. But we ain't come across none. That's done. That's a spare. Thank you. Literally never a dull moment, is there? Not with me, no. No, I always end up doing something. Right, I need to... Uh... Go get clean? Yeah, I'm going to... Uh... Pass us some... Always when you've been doing something like that, you've got an itchy face. 